Hi my darlings, hope you're all doing well, bless you here. Welcome to this reading where we're going to be taking a look at what wish is about to come true for you. See which option you're mostly drawn to, option number one, option number two, or option number three. And let's go ahead and begin. Option number one. Hi, welcome to your reading guys. If you were drawn to this pile, to this crystal, now then get comfy let's go ahead and take a look at what wish is about to come true for you mm -hmm. okay so we're going to begin with you finally being able to let something go okay so it kind of feels like you my darlings have been working so so hard on being able to let something go there was a lot of grief there was a lot of pain there was a lot of i keep hearing trust issues for a lot of you you might have been born in june or on the six life path number six as well and this card is telling me that you have been literally drained by something in the past and something that might still be going on at this particular moment so the good news over here is that you're going to be able to finally heal something you're going to be able to finally find peace find peace and find that harmony within you that you we're looking for longing for and for some of you, you might have even forgotten what it feels like to be at peace yeah there is this um message that comes through that's very specific for some of you somebody let you go but they regret it now and they will come back but the thing is you are a changed person you've seen some sort of situation from a different perspective it's like they were telling me that you were chasing somebody, guys. You were chasing somebody for a very long time. You've been waiting for somebody to come back for a very long time. You wanted somebody to see their ways and change their ways. But there's just this energy of big disappointment. And the funny thing is now you're going to be able to let this go. They're giving me a time frame of up to six weeks. And this is a timeless reading. And you're going to be able to let them go. Allow the wisdom to remain, but this thing I shall never feel again. And they're showing me it's like as if the pain is being taken away from your heart. And that's such a beautiful feeling. Because you are going to become indifferent to some person and some sort of situation that was very traumatic to you. Traumatic for you, rather. But the person comes back. <clears throat> Let me see. This person comes back, but the thing is, like the interesting thing is, you don't, you don't want to, you're from them anymore. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, oh my God, my darlings, you've been crying so much lately, haven't you? Like there's just this energy of feeling sad. I mean, look at how similar these cards are and you've been manipulated. It could be somebody um, at a distance. It could have been somebody long term or somebody who feels very distant. Yeah, they keep showing me the energy of something that was long distance not working out or something that was that was away. They keep telling me like it's a long way from home. This is what I keep hearing. For some of you, you're literally missing home and somebody who, as who associates with home. It's like somebody didn't choose you, did they? Or somebody was putting you last or before last. And there's just this energy of a broken heart. No communication. And you started working on yourselves. You started working on yourself. You needed it to see who you truly are. And they keep saying like, now things are going to get better. Now things are going to pick up. So this person comes back, comes back as if out of nowhere, comes back to confess their feelings. They're like, I've learned my lesson. I can't be without you anymore. But it kind of feels like it's something to lure you in, to lure you back in. Because you've learned your lesson over here and you've restored your balance 
And it's like you had this moment of rebirth, a complete rebirth. Your ancestors were guiding you to get out of this energy, <clears throat> energy of illusions. Like you wanted commitment, this person couldn't give it to you. And now they keep saying you can you can be at peace. But they come back because they can't be without you. But once again, guys, they're showing me manipulation. They're showing me deception. And you're gonna be able to see through that. Yeah, you, you've already changed. You've already changed. You're like, I took way too much with this person. Way too much. But your scars, it feels like they're about to heal. So I don't know why they're giving me an image of literally somebody taking the stitches out to see where everything like healed so, so nicely. Okay, and you're about to experience abundance. Look at this. Goddess of Abundance Divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. This feels incredible, guys, because this is the energy of finally experiencing the abundance of life. And I'm going to pull out more cards from Tarot to get more of a clarification on what the abundance is all about. Because abundance, it's a state of mind, isn't it? It's about money, it's about love, it's about friendship, it's about choices. Uh, it's being able to have something and somebody to choose from, right? Not feeling like there's lack of something in the world. <clears throat> yeah, you're taking charge. Oof, nice. So just on a side note, guys, if some of you, you have a business doing tarot or doing something that has to do with spirituality, this is going to prosper. If you have a business, if you're like somebody who's a spiritual coach, who's a life coach, uh, who does tarot, all of those spiritual things that help other people, things are about to grow. Things are about to become abundant. Hmm. Yeah, it has a lot to do with work as well. Look at this. It's so interesting how it's, it's all connected. Huh. And they're saying don't find the tower moment because it leads you into abundance. Don't find the tower moment, it leads you into abundance. So some of you literally, you might be forced to leave something or maybe that situation that I was explaining earlier, it might have to do with your boss and you feel like the whole world is falling apart. They're saying no, this is actually the opposite. It's something that acts as a spark, as a spark of inspiration, as a spark to push you full towards abundance. <clears throat> to create something long term, to create something stable. And to get a completely new perspective. So for a lot of you, my dears, there's a new contract, there's new work, there's more money coming through and a brand new start. They're saying be patient, a brand new start. Six and seven are coming through very, very importantly as important numbers. Gemini energy came through very strongly and Aries energy came through very strongly. And of course, there's a new beginning in love. And there's a new beginning in love. Yeah, look at you getting, getting your emotions back on track. You worked on your boundaries. <clears throat> and you're no longer easily deceived. Not at all. And the period of poverty, physical, uh, emotional, it ends. That's it. They're showing me that's it. You've learned your lesson, you're letting go, and there's something completely different over here. Fertility, okay. 
So for those of you, my darlings, who have been wanting children, wanting to conceive, <clears throat> they're saying that this is going to happen. For some of you later than what you have expected or what you have wanted or what you have dreamed about, but it will happen. If we're not talking about children, once again, we're talking about the fertility of your business, the fertility of your enterprise, the fertility of just abundance. Guys, they keep repeating that. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Because you've let something and someone go, or you're just about to. Let's take a look at fertility, what the tower wants to add over here. A lot of harmony is coming through, okay. <clears throat> something that was blocked something that was blocked is being unblocked you're finding your freedom you're getting the information that you needed and you're stepping into abundance again abundance fertility fertility came through twice with the empress and the fertility so if it's your dream Again, it's create a passive income to transform your life. This is going to happen. And you get a new person coming in. Somebody who's going to be your soulmate, by the way. Somebody who's manifesting you at this particular time as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through strongly. And once again, Aries, <clears throat> you're being led towards a happy home life, a happy family life over here. But let go and walk away. This is what they keep saying. <clears throat> Easy does it. Easy does it. No, absolutely. New romance on the cards over here. And this is going to be somebody fantastic. For some reason, they keep saying like somebody who is going to rock your world. <laughs> Shall we take a quick look at who it might be? <clears throat> somebody who's a little bit younger, two pages. Look at this. Somebody who's a little bit younger than you are, but very, very wise. Virgo energy came in through. Oh my God, somebody who's incredibly patient. And again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody who might have to deal with law. Somebody who could be a doctor. Capricorn energy. And somebody who sets you free. Because they keep telling me that you might be experiencing some sort of temptation to go back to something. They're saying, yeah, somebody who makes you see the truth. See the truth. See the deception. See right through the deception. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to your romantic life right now, guys. Because they keep giving me opposing energies. And it could be that you will have two people fight over you, fight over your attention and affection. Yeah. But the person who you're meant to be with will win. But it's like up and down and up and down and up and down. It's going to be a bit of an emotional roller coaster, guys. I'm not going to lie over here. But um, you will find out the truth. There's a lot of energy about finding out the truth that you needed to hear for a very long time. But it brings love. Look at this. It brings love your way. No way about it. All right, lovely option number one. That's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> if you're up for a personal read, send me an email. And of course, don't forget to check my Patreon page out with more exclusive content, additional discounts, and much, much more. Alright, my darlings, take care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. Lovely option number.
two. Hi, welcome to your reading guides. Get comfy. Let's go ahead and take a look at what wish is about to come true for you. Let's see what it has to say. All right, so it has a lot to do with you guys learning some sort of important information, right? It kind of feels like for a lot of you, you're going to learn how to manifest things and being able to study something. Let me see. So a lot of you, you're going to do some shadow work over here. Because they're telling me that you're facing your fears. What's the fear? Fear of being yourself? Why are you so afraid of being yourself? Because you will have to make the necessary changes. Okay, why is that an issue? You're afraid of your own power. You're afraid of the success that you could create because you guys option number two you are incredibly powerful over here with the energy of the magician but i'm sensing there's a very strong trauma bond that's going on over here but the universe is saying it's time it's time for you to step into your power why because you've been deceived. Deceived with what? You know what they're telling me over here, guys? Is that you've been deceived, you've been misled for a very long time. It has a lot to do with what it is that you're capable of. And now the universe is going to give you the knowledge in order for you to get out of this state of mind that you're not enough, that you can't achieve something, that you, you can't do something. You might be very tempted to Go and study something else. Go and learn something else. You're going to be given hidden knowledge, secret knowledge. And that knowledge allows you to work on things. To bring more love, more joy and more abundance into your life. For a lot of you, I feel what you're doing right now, it doesn't, it doesn't fulfill you anymore. You're only there because of money, but you could get more. This is what they keep saying. You could get more and you getting more. They're saying, um, it will require you to go forwards, to go forwards with something quite possibly. It feels like there's going to be information when it comes to relocation, working, studying, relocating abroad. Somebody's going to contact you shortly. This person is going to be very calm. He's going to feel like a friend. And by the way, um, a very specific message for some of you, if you've been writing a book, your book is going to be published. Your book is going to be noticed. And it's going to create a passive income over here. Some of you, you're like born teachers born teachers, born trainers. I don't know if you're drawn to option number one, but there's a very strong resonance between the two messages where you guys, the karma is going to bring the things that you deserve your way. All of that good stuff you've been waiting for. And here that knowledge gives you freedom. And you start manifesting loads of things. You start manifesting romance. You start manifesting. Yeah, look at this. You start manifesting love. Happiness, moving forwards. And victory came through very strongly. Okay, let me take a look at the other cards for you. Because this is looking very promising. And they keep saying you, you, <laughs> you are so much stronger than you know. Okay. Success. Okay. Let me say this. My lovely option number two. 
Uh, it is quite possible that you're meant to be popular, famous, recognized. Let's see if the star comes through again because I'm getting somebody who is meant to experience. Yeah, look at this. Again, we have the teacher vibe. You're meant to experience this amazing growth and people are going to follow you. People are going to follow you. Why? Because you have the ability to change lives. Okay. You're going to be diving deep into psychology, by the way. So if it's been your dream, if it's been your wish to study psychology, to be able to help people with psychology, <clears throat> using psychology or using methods that combine psychology and something else, this is coming through very strongly. Because you have the ability to bring harmony into people's lives. For some of you, it's psychology. For others of you, it's teaching. For some of you, it could be singing, songwriting, um, writing books. You're meant to inspire people. People will look up to you. Because you have the gift. You have the gift of intuition. You have the gift that will help people transform themselves. And there's something very magical about you. It's like they're saying that your story will help people break through, um, break break out of codependent relationships, break out of curses, all, all sorts of things, all sorts of things. Because your knowledge, it's like you guys are going to be somebody who is a messenger, or you might already be somebody who's a messenger. Because so many, like, so much information came through. Actually, let me grab a different deck. I want to see something really quick. Because I'm getting such a beautiful spiritual vibe from you. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's a few cards there, but let's see. Surrender, holding the opposite extreme of life. Your life is a, a canvas. I wanted to say compass. <laughs> Artist manifestation, creative accountability. Yeah, look at this. Let yourself be seen, guys. There's something about you that I can't even put it in one word because you're so unique and your talents and skills are so unique. And they're kind of saying, like, use that mixture to create something for yourself. This is going to be your dream, your miracle, your... For some of you, you've been looking for your life purpose and your life purpose couldn't be explained to you by others because they didn't have the same vision. You have a very specific vision. It might not be in your 3D energy just yet, but your higher self knows, your spiritual team knows. And it's like this alchemical energy yeah, look at this soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Absolutely amazing, guys. You're being called. You're being called to step up. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as portal. It's like you're being reborn. You're being reborn. You might be very tempted to work with children or um, with childhood trauma. But over all my darlings, there's something so unconventional about you. It's amazing. Oh my god, yeah, you're about to find your destiny. I mean, there we go. You're about to find what your destiny is. You're about to have that date with destiny. Um, let me grab this deck. I want to get more information. Within the next eight weeks, up to eight months, guys, from this time this reading, it will become much, much clearer to you who you are, what you came here to do, and why. And what's more important, you will have the resources. The universe is going to conspire <laughs> to give you all of the tools that you need. It, there are going to be a lot of synchronicities, guys. 
Like literally you start meeting the right people at the right time. You start hearing the right things and whenever you need to hear them. It's like you're going to be just walking down this path and then there are going to be road signs everywhere. <laughs> like take a left, take a right, go straight. Yeah. <clears throat> and it will bring you joy because look at this. Your <laughs> destiny involves you having so much joy so much joy and you're very imaginative so i'm getting again you guys are very spiritual very imaginative you're somebody who can deliver the messages whether it's in your music or your paintings or your mm, books or your words or your however you choose to channel the message and you're going to be very tempted to change your appearance over here i'm hearing for a lot of you very tempted to change your appearance your imagination will bring you joy and it will bring others joy and harmony look at this harmony friendships you're also looking for your soul family and they're looking for you you will find your soul family with this knowledge that's going to come through <clears throat> and i'm looking at this ancestors um, your ancestors they're saying that there's something within your dna that's going to become activated oh my god guys I mean, again, my goosebumps got the goosebumps. You're going to be getting a lot of divine guidance. 38 is coming through is an important number. Over here, let me see divine guidance when it comes to your destiny. Whoop, uh, coping mechanisms, mm -hmm, letting God in. And again, make your life a moving prayer. There's something within you guys that's just waiting to be activated activated to point you in the part on the path of your destiny to find out your divine life purpose <clears throat> and close finally close that circle of being heartbroken being lonely being misunderstood because you option number two you're also meant to travel So much joy is coming through into your reading, so much happiness. Yeah, an end and a difficult, difficult decision <clears throat> that you're going to make of no more. And here's your rebirth. Here's your amazing rebirth where you finally find out why you're here, <clears throat> what you came to do, how you came to change people's lives and honestly a lot of you my darlings you're meant to be very very prosperous and very popular recognized admired even for some of you I keep hearing and you'll find your soul family And they're saying it's going to transition from the Ten of Swords into the Ten of Pentacles. You're being activated as we speak. And you will make a lot of money. A lot of money, guys, honestly. You have a special message, a special talent, a special skill. And the world needs it, so don't hide it. The world needs it. The world needs you as its essential part. So do your thing. All right, lovely option number two. That's what I have for you, my darlings. Hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. Claim its magic down in the comments below. If you're up for a personal read, send an email. The email is also in the description box below. So it's the link to my Patreon and Insta. Check them out. All right, my darlings, take care now. Bye. Option number three. Hi, welcome to your reading, you guys. If you're drawn to selenite and this gorgeous pile, this picture, let's go ahead and take a look. What wish, what desire is about to be granted, is about to come true for you. Aha, uh -huh. you're packing your suitcases. All right, my dears, it could be that you are embarking on some sort of journey or you're planning to. Uh, it could be a work trip. It could be a romantic um, trip. It could be just to, to explore, to see something. But the thing is, they're saying that this is going to play an important part in your life. 
Like this is going to be something that's crucial. Um, let me see why. Because that change of scenery, guys, it feels like it's going to change something. It's going to make you see something, recognize something, meet somebody. Let me see. Okay. So you're getting out of some sort of toxic environment. Interesting. Okay. Time to release physical and energet energetic toxins from your life. Um, so some of you, maybe you're planning to go on some sort of retreat. Or you will have an opportunity to do so. All right, let's get more. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Are you guys coming out of your shell over here? Lovely option number three. What's happening? What is happening? It's like they're taking me step by step. Why is it important? Why is it crucial, this trip? So you're getting out of a toxic environment. It's like you're this diamond that's being polished so that what could happen? So that you can get out of some sort of coping mechanism. Okay, why? Because it brings love. Ooh, it shifts the energies. Okay. It shifts the energies, guys. Uh, from the Queen of Swords where you're very logical or it could be that you still hold a grudge yes yes and it shifts you out into the energy of purification and love and peace and they're telling me that you forgot who you could be how you could be you've been in the toxic environment where you had to protect yourself for a very long time and it has become incredibly difficult and in order to adapt, you kind of created this whole new persona. Well, there's going to be some sort of revelation over here. You're meeting somebody. I don't know if it's going to be somebody who's like a mentor. Uh, but there's definitely some sort of knowledge that comes through over here. That helps you shift into this different energy. Why is it important for you to shift into this new energy? Transformation of what? Disappointment in relationships, guys. Disappointment in relationships. So let me say this. It feels like you need to forget somebody. You need to let go of somebody. For some of you, it could be a father figure. For some of you, it's um, an important male figure in your life. But let me say this. They've been lying to you for a very long time. It could be a boss, it could be a brother, an uncle, step brother, step father, whoever. But some sort of male has been lying to you for a very long time and that created you... It created this, this persona you had to go into in order to protect yourself. And it gave you a wrong idea about men. So I'm getting a lot of toxic masculinity over here. doesn't matter if you're male or female. But they're saying it's time for you to heal that. And that energy of travel is important because you're going to meet somebody who will make you see things from a different perspective and open you up to love. Somebody who will play a very important role in how things are going to work out. In how things are going to manifest in your life. Okay, let me see what the other cards have to say. Victory and romance. Yeah, look at this. Guys, you're about to meet somebody who's so significant so important and who's going to love you from the top of your head to your toes right from your head to your toes in any state and i want to say forever in a day 
I almost want to speak a little bit quieter over here because the energies are so beautiful. It's almost like, I want to say divine, because here you're divinely guided. So they open you up to love. They shift you into a different energy. It feels like through this person, you meet like your significant other, or you meet this important person through this mentor, through this mentor figure. They do something, they say something, they somehow they change your mind, guys, about men, about toxic masculinity. Something happens at a cellular level, and that leads you to this romance. So for some of you, this person introduces you to the other person. And for some of you, they just do their part by changing something within you that activates with you and brings in that romance. Because you're finally about to get a win when we're talking about love. And since we are talking about love, let me just grab the romantic tarot. Because I want to take a closer look at who it is, guys, that's coming in. Let me see. Somebody whose heart has been broken, like literally broken not too long ago. Uh, this person was dealing with, with like a person who was really dramatic and really like traumatized and who was constantly creating drama in this person's life. Yeah. They were overly obsessive, possessive, jealous. Um, they might have been blackmailing them or all sorts of horrible things. I'm not even going to go into much into it. And the reason why is because the person that you're going to have this beautiful romance with, guys, is quite well off, is quite wealthy, right? Like they have a lot of things to offer when it comes to money. Uh, a lot of other things to offer as well, but this person, it's like they're people like literally looking for where they are, where they might go, just so that they can try to get to know this person. So I don't know if it's some sort of, I don't know, authority figure or whatnot, but this person, um, they literally had their heart broken because they found out that their partner's intentions weren't true, so it's very difficult for them to trust. And it's funny how you might be dealing with the issue of toxic masculinity, and they might have a lot of trust issues when it comes to people uh, coming into their life and their intentions. Because for your person, guys, a lot of like the intentions where they were about money, about connections, all of that. It wasn't so much about love. So this person is struggling. But it's funny how the universe is going to bring the two of you together. How the Wheel of Fortune is bringing the two of you closer to one another. With every minute, with every second, honestly, they're like, these two are meant to be together. And they're going to find you incredibly beautiful next. Like, so this is somebody who will <laughs> constantly want to take pictures of you, who will constantly want to mm, see you, be with you. They'll always choose you. And by the way, for a lot of you, my darlings, uh, this is going to be your future spouse because they're showing me this energy of bliss. A beautiful vision of, you know, living in a very nice house being able to afford a lot of things but most importantly being in a very harmonious and long-lasting relationship i don't know about the 20 million cats over here but it's definitely the energy of being at peace with somebody with the two of cups they're saying that this is something that 
something that you were afraid wouldn't happen to you but it will because this is this ascension this going into a new into a new chapter in your life that has everything to do with being being happy But let me say this your past will try to come back over and over and over again people from your past will try to come back oh how they will how they will try to come back but see you're no longer interested in f boys you're no longer interested in people who are just coming in um temporarily nah because there's this massive transformation that you're going to go through yeah look at this you're leveling up to the empress the empress mode is being activated for you over here my darlings where you don't accept anything less than an emperor and vice versa and where you are the only choice the only choice you're not an option you are the only choice and you are the priority over here look at this how how, how are you gonna be hugged from behind look at this gorgeous yeah this is the person that you guys are going to marry so you dream your desire your wish to um, be in a healthy relationship is coming true over here and there's no more lies there's no more lies, no more deception, no more F-boys. Um, but look at this, honestly, guys. Your past, like you'll be so surprised. As soon as this person comes into your life, honestly, it's not one ex that's going to become like active. It's like pretty much all of them. It's going to be so weird. And it usually happens when we meet the person that we're meant to be with. It's like the past, past partners, they feel like they've lost some sort of connection. And they will try to come back. But you're already long gone. You're like, bye, see ya. Not interested. Yeah. It's like all of the things that fell apart. Nah. Because with this person, you're creating something that's stable. And with them as well, a lot of people will try to come back. There's a lot of like temptation. But it doesn't matter. This person will want to be with you and you will want to be with them they keep showing you this amazing outcome but they will miss you whenever you're away they will miss you like even you when you go out to get coffee without them they will miss you it's that sort of connection it's a very strong bond that's going to be happening over here guys and they keep saying it's coming in sooner than you think sooner than what you can imagine and it's going to be better than anything you have experienced ever before so make sure to claim the magic of this reading guys in the comments down below if you're up for a personal read do send me an email the email is also in the description box below so it's the link to my patreon and insta so make sure to check them out all right my darlings take care of your beautiful selves now bye